All right, so we're back at it for another day here. Gonna get rolling, finish up soybeans. We got the field on the other side of this ditch planted last night. Well, all but, I don't know, three acres. Had a couple rows run out, but we gotta get this field worked over. Rem's doing a good job of that for us. So, yeah, basically there's a hard layer through this field. When I say hard layer, I guess it's more of like a soil type. So there's a clay vein that runs right across all of this. Probably about half the width of this field goes over into this field as well. And uh, yeah, so we, our issue is it turns into large uh, clumps of clay. Um, and it's just as hard to, hard to plant into. I mean, this will, over here, obviously it's right next to the low spot that I've been trying to drain. But when I say large chunks, I mean, I don't know, it's probably six, six inches across and your seed to soil contact is great. But it seems if we work it once or twice, it kind of breaks up nice and takes care of all of our issues. So anyways, we're gonna get the big girl fired up, finish up our last 15 acres of field work for the year, or the spring, I should say. I mean, we don't have to work this back edge back along here. It's a real nice and sandy old plant nice. Basically, there's a green spot right there. And we don't have to go any farther than that. Like, that is the last bit of clay in this field. So, yeah, anyways, that's what we got going on. We're going to get her fired up and go. So, as you can see, we got a little bit of rain last night. Not enough to do anything for us but we do have rain coming tonight i think they're talking oh shoot i don't know if they've actually said but so yeah i don't know what they're talking for rain if it's quarter inch half inch to be fair the last time they told us that it was supposed to be a quarter inch to a half inch rain and we got 1.8 so Take that for what it's worth, but yeah, maybe we'll get the uh, drone up in the air today. Let me think. I mean, it's a little breezy, but we'll probably get a couple high wind warnings. But if you're not flying on the edge, are you really flying? All right, well, I don't know what I did to technology, but this thing don't want to work. This thing don't want to work. I don't know. I was gonna get you some sweet drone footage, but. If it don't want to work for me, I'm not going to work with it. So, it's taking a play with it for probably 10 minutes now. Wasted my time. So, it's going to be put away. I don't know. They don't like me talking about selling it for anyone, I guess. Who knows? But, we're going to get going here, get this done so we can get the planet because we still got other work to do. We're up to our festival that we work at, and we got a lot of work to do there. So, I want to get this done and where we end up.
All right, so we're all loaded up. We're gonna get folded up here. When I say folded up, just throw the wing or the markers up. We got, oh, I don't know, 10 acres. Well, five acres out there to do. It's probably what we got, so we'll get this field finished up. Move on to the next one. We got the old sidekick rolling with us today. And, uh, the wife is tanning back there, so she's gonna get her son while I plant some soybeans, and I don't know. She's gonna do that. That's what she says she wants to do. I said okay. Have a good one. So I had to make sure my marker I was gonna hit my auger. So all right, let's get rolling. I don't know what we got going on here, but we're missing. 11 so I don't know if when I walk on the frame to load this up if when I walk on the frame to load this planer it uh, stepped on the cord and shorted it out but I guess once we get away from my truck and get going uh, all of them have been empty now we'll be fine right it's really all that matters so we'll get that done. Or we'll deal with that problem later. So we'll do. We're, I mean, we're 300 acres in with this tractor and planer set up, so we're 450 acres in for the year. We got 50 to go. So we're gonna we're gonna let her ride. I'm so glad I turned that thing on right away. I might jump out and look and see if I just unfold or unplug the thing or whatnot, but. Yeah, so we're just gonna cruise around here. This is all planted all the way back to those houses so we just got from this that tree in the field to the tree line to go. And then we gotta jump through the tree line and hit that field. So a little bit left, not much. But we're getting there. Almost done. Should be done by the end of the day. All right, so the monitor told us this half of the planter wasn't planting. Well, seems like if I was strong enough to turn that and that one over here, um, everything seems to rotate, but as you can see, we're missing a few parts and it's a little melted and all kinds of stuff, which this one still rotates, but you look in there real close we're definitely definitely missing something so um as in the part that's missing is right there should be over there so the masters broke which we just got to get through this last little bit because we're going to rebuild these this winter year because this is the only thing we haven't gone through is this drive mechanism and they're not the greatest i mean you can see that the chain rubs right there and they aren't shimmed quite right and these are all wore out and these are loose. Needs a little love is what it needs but right now we're going to try to get this off and hopefully be able to keep running without it. So, Alright so it's off. See if it continues to uh, stay locked up or what but I don't know, I'm assuming all of this is something to do with it. I mean, it's, uh, it's on there pretty good. It just got a little hot last night because it wasn't like this before. And I did notice it this morning, or when I started. But, you know, you get your last little bit to do. Kind of want to push through and get it done. Deal with the problem later. Let's see what that did for us. So, all right, I gotta go all the way back there and restart. So, hopefully, it'll work. Just like that, everything's happy again. Just going around, so can't complain too much. Okay, let's knock out some acres. 
All right, so we're on our last little piece here, basically from that grass towards me. And we're gonna stop, oh, down that way. About that corner, I don't know if you guys can see that, it might be blurry. That corner of the grass, right in there. This is where we're gonna stop because there's a lot of this out here. Um, and the, like, I mean, there's a green spot there, but there's water and water. And we're just trying to, we're gonna try to get some of that cut and drained out of here. So that way it's not so wet. I mean, you could, we have, there's some tile lines, I think about where there's a little flag right there that comes across. Oh, it doesn't seem to be doing too much. So, it, I think it probably really need to be pattern tiled and ripped neat, which we can do now. We have a good ripper, so we're gonna try that. See what happens. But uh, we're gonna get playing here. So we're just gonna do some, I don't know, like 10 acres or so is what it works out to be. Uh, we're gonna try to get some of this, this problem taken care of this summer. Oh, we're doing it. We're on our last little bit. I mean, we only got from here to that ditch over there. We'll be done. She's gonna look terrible from the air. Absolutely terrible. Because our drive wheel right there is slipping. Because we're driving on one of them. That one's missing the down pressure spring. So she's gonna have a bunch of skips out here, but it is what it is. We're almost done. We're really going halfway across here. So we're just gonna keep rolling. About two or three more rounds, maybe. Better avoid this mud hole, though. Might have some drive wheel issues. Well. I think we're running out of seed finally. It's just got a constant tone of failures. Holy cow. But here's our last pass. So, not that you can see through the dust, but it's planted there, planted there. We're taking her to the end. There's gonna be stripes all over this field. It'll be all right doing what we wanted to with it so yeah anyways there it is um, there it is slice it right there we're done plant as long as we don't have to replant a single thing which all of our corn's up and looking good I don't have to redo any of that so be all right we're gonna head back to the barn and uh, I think we're just gonna leave her like this out the end of the field and get to it when we get to it shut that annoying thing off but, well I guess I better turn back on and see how many acres I did with this tractor I think there was 180 in the other so let's see stop shut up 351 I don't know, we were supposed to be pretty we were supposed to be pretty close to 500 acres so seems like we're right there I'm happy about it but uh got a few beans to count back this year that'll be the most beans we ever did we did 450 corn last year that was just too much for us um and a storage point Trying to get it all off and dried because how bad the spring was last year it just got wet on us. And uh, we got one little spot in this, so we're just going to hit it. Leave some random stripes out here, you know. But um, yeah, it got wet on us last year. Corn was wet because of how late the late of a start everything had. Because it was so dry last year that 
I had, I had corn sitting in the ground for a month before it germinated. I have a picture of it. I planted it that on May 28th and I took a picture on June 24th of it still just like the day I planted it. We just didn't get a rain and it just took forever. You know, some days it's just how it goes. So, for some years that's how it goes. So, that was last year. This year we're sitting a lot better. Um, all of our corn's up. I'd say 80% of our beans are up. Well, all of our beans are up except for what I just planted last night and today. Uh, because this was one of the, this was the last field I planted on uh, the other day when I finished planting. Besides for one other one up there, which I planted right after I finished these back out of the way. So that was all a part of my last day and these are up so everything's up for except for the last hundred acres. Hundred ish acres. So yeah anyways we're almost there.